All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. And put your seat belts on, make sure you have a good beverage with you because today's story has plot twists and everything in it. Be sure you pay attention till the end. You're definitely gonna learn more about how to easily print in the ludicrous mode uh, today. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So as everybody knows, in my last video, I talked about one of the ugly sides of the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon is you can't print everything in ludicrous mode. And I think I might have found a reason why, or at least led to some things that can help everybody. So with that, let's go ahead and go through what I'm gonna use to test this. And then I'll go over a couple of theories and then we'll go ahead and test those theories. So what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna print just this plate on here that'll be a little bit large format, not the craziest. I don't wanna waste a whole bunch of material testing this out, but it's only gonna be three layers thick for this example, just so we can see the high speed prints. We don't need to see 50 layers of that. We only need to see three. I'll show you why here in just a minute when we get into the slicer, why three is important, but we're gonna do that. So we're gonna take this box. Um, I'm in Tinkercad here. And we're actually going to make this 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters. And since we're using a 0.4 nozzle and we're doing 0.2 layer heights, I need three layers thick is going to be 0.6 millimeters. So we'll change the height to 0.6 millimeters. And that creates a small little plate that I can print over and over and over to test a couple of theories out that I have in how to um, get to ludicrous mode and really get high speed printing going with that. So if you didn't know in Tinkercad, it's really easy to make your little object here and hit export and hit STL. And then you can import that into Bamboo Studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that imported into Bamboo Studio and I will see you there. All right, here we are in the Bamboo Studio and we have the plate put in here. And real quick, let me show you why we needed to have 0.6 millimeters on the height. So for most of the tests here, we'll be using the 0.6 millimeter nozzle, which prints at 0.2 millimeters. And we really needed to have at least three layers here for our, uh, to look at the test. And reason being is the first layer and the top layer print at different speeds than everything else and actually slower speeds than everything else. So I needed to have at least three layers so we could take a look at that second layer as the high speed print. And this is where our prints either failed or where we could see success. Okay, so that's why we did the height that we did in Tinkercad there. In my last video, there were two comments that really stood out as ways that we could potentially get the steel wool effect out of the prints of the larger area prints. And the first way was using the higher or the larger 0.6 millimeter nozzle. I do have that nozzle and I went ahead and put that one in use and we'll take a look at that here in a moment. The second way to fix it is by using high speed filament. And this was very interesting when I first read that comment because I had never heard of high speed filament before. So I looked on Amazon and sure enough, it is readily available. I got three different brands, G-Tech, uh, Giant Arm, and boom at. And I'll leave links in the description below. It's from the US Amazon store, but those are the three that I got. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first comment, the 0.6 millimeter nozzle. And I went ahead and put that in and I came into the studio and I changed the settings here. And the first thing that I noticed was, wow, these speeds almost dropped in half. Some of them dropped in half, some of them not quite, right? 50, 105, 200, 300. And when we change it over here, 35, 55, 120, 150. So it really dropped the speed down. So that led me to believe that if it worked, it's only working because it's dropping the speed of it down, right? It's dropping, um, you know, the speed of this down and that's why it's working. It's just dropping the overall speed of ludicrous mode in there. Well, as you can see here, uh, the bamboo, uh, this yellow that I'm using here still felt even with the uh, 0.6 millimeter. So even if it slowed it down, that still didn't fix the problem. And I thought that the 0.6 millimeter might actually fit the pro fix the problem because it kind of makes sense, right? I can get more filament out there 
Um, and it kind of seems like that steel wool, well, there's not enough filament that's getting in there, right? Because it shows like a lot of gaps or whatever. So I, I hate to say it, but the 0.6 millimeter didn't help. Um, we'll see throughout the different tests here that it did not help at all. So we can go ahead and move that one to the side and we'll go back to the 0.4 millimeter nozzle here. So as you can see here, we'll start to run some tests. I ran the normal uh, G-Tech PLA that I have in here. Um, and as you can see, when I use that normal filament and print it at high speed, I get the steel wool effect. So I thought, okay, let's use the bamboo filament. Same thing. So then I tried one of the high speed filaments that I ordered, which was also by G Tech, right? They had their normal filament, but they also have some high speed filament available on Amazon. No affiliate links. I'm not getting paid by them or anything like that. And I ran that one. And as you can see here, success. So this really made me kind of mad right here, um, to be honest with you. Because I was like, Bamboo, if you're going to sell a high-speed printer, then shouldn't your filament be the high-speed filament that's needed to do that? So I was kind of ticked off a little bit, to be honest. And then I got to thinking, like, hold on. I seen a setting before that I think may be at play here. And sure enough, I think this is where the trick is. If you click on the little settings here for your filaments and pay attention to this max volumetric speed, this setting stands for how much volume of filament can be melted and extruded per second. Printing speed is limited by max volumetric speed in case of too high and unreasonable speed setting can't be zero. So, no matter what you do in speed over here, it's always going to be limited by this max volumetric speed. Okay, so so what? What does that matter? Well, if you look at what it puts in for generic PLA, it's actually 12 is the number here. And you'll see that over here it's 21, and if I change it to anything, it gives me the option to put it back to the preset and the preset for the bamboo is 21, which is super interesting. So I thought, huh, what happens if I change this one to 12? One of the other things that I said in here that I haven't mentioned till now is I changed all of this to 230. Every time I change back and forth, it changes this. Um, this is another one of those weird things with the filament um, deals here. But on all of these tests I printed at 230, that seems to give the best results in the high-speed prints. Um, but when I change this bamboo one to 12, as you can see here, it printed the same as the G-Tech did. Interesting. What the heck, bamboo? Why are you putting this to too high of a number there? So as you can see here, we'll switch it to the uh, boo mat, which is the purple one. And as you can see here in the um, 12, um, it prints just fine. In the 21, fails. We'll move over to the giant arm. And as you can see in the 12, prints just fine. And in the 21, fails. Okay. So I really think my first conclusion here today, and this you can see I haven't saved anything and it's trying to get me to save stuff. I don't understand why it does that. As you can see here, changing this volumetric speed really I think is the key or that one setting that you can change without having to fiddle with a bunch of stuff that can take out that steel wool effect in those large area format and prints. And if you're using generic PLA and you're doing smaller parts, then it looks like you can bump this up to the same speed as the bamboo at 21 or, you know, 17 or whatever. Play around with that with the size of the parts that you have so that you can get the, the max speed out of it there. So that's my first conclusion there. And I think everybody's noticed at this point that everything was done on the PEI uh, textured plate. And I can hear everybody typing on their keyboard now. Before you hit send in the comments, 
I did switch to the cool plate. I did try the bamboo, as you can see here. I'll show the uh, good one and the bad one, as well as the giant arm. I didn't test all of them because I was seeing the same result. And I also tested the, six, the 0.6 millimeter nozzle on the cool plate as well. So I know everybody was typing in the keyboard and hoping to catch me on not using the cool plate there. And for some reason, you know, that was gonna be the ticket. Sorry to burst your bubble, but that didn't work either. I had the same results on the cool plate that I did with the textured plate. So in conclusion, my final conclusion here, everybody, is the 0.6 millimeter nozzle was a good idea, but that didn't really help. If you want to do the larger surface area prints, really look for that high-speed filament or the bamboo filament that is a plug for their filament. It does seem to have the same characteristics as the high-speed filament that I purchased as well. Really play around with that one setting there I think will really give you that kind of one setting to make stuff easy play around with that and adjust it for your needs with that I thank everybody for your time today thank you everybody for your comments your likes and be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video thank you